Mateus Sui Sketches is the app I use when I'm experimenting, doodling, trying things out, and not pr trying to produce art, just having fun. And um, I took this photo and I decided to do a, a quick sketch. And this, if you look at the photo, if you look at the distant um, buildings in the photo, you can't pick them out. There's just, there's nothing there to really identify as buildings. And I wanted to capture that and also the buildings in, in the shadow um, as sort of quick and as loose as I could without fiddling. So this, although looking at the photo, it looks like it's going to be a, a, a sketch or a painting about the sea or these rocks at the front. What I'm really interested in is this middle line of buildings and shadow. So that's what I'm going to have a go at in Teosui Sketches. So let's get into it. So here we are in Teosui Sketches. This is going to be a really quick sketch, uh, to be honest, because I was just sort of experimenting with putting in just really scribbles to indicate these buildings. And as you can see straight away, I, I did put a couple of roof lines in maybe two or three horizontal line here and there for the for the odd wall and then it's all about the shading and just scribbling in and you can see i've just sort of every now and again the horizontal line goes in and then some shading uh, with the side of the pencil really uh just sort of filling that all in letting the odd little bit uh, of white there where the sort of uh, light is reflecting off the buildings and then uh, just shading and you can see i've just really scribbled that in so fast and and then i'm going in and just darkening up and putting a few more shadows in the old tiny little indication of a window just a little mark here and there on the right on the left hand side you can see uh, at the bottom there's this uh or the, the bottom of the hill there's this sort of uh, little rectangle shape with a few little windows marked in a few more indications of buildings at the top of uh, the far left as well and so just by putting in a few roof lines just a couple or three here and there you've created this impression of all these buildings on these distant hills with the, that you can do in minutes really and then um, the rest of the drawing because um, obviously I, I could have just left it at that really just do it just sort of practice sketching buildings but I wanted to finish the sketch so I'm going in and it, it would this would probably make a nice painting really because we've got this sort of horizontal uh, this uh, diagonal line taking you into the um, center of the painting and then it sort of echoes on the right hand side as well with the waves that are sort of moving in there so th uh, that could all um, be an interesting composition of this sort of lonely beach with uh, i've just got two people walking on it notice how i am emphasizing the distance of the buildings in the background by putting in really dark thick lines in the foreground as well that's something that you can always pay attention to that sort of gives distance to your um, sketching. I don't know what you call that. It's some sort of um, is it aerial perspective or something like that, where things that are further away, I think it is called aerial perspective, things that are further away appear lighter, and the closer they are, they're more defined and uh, darker and richer in color as well. You don't get sort of really vibrant colors in the distance as you do in the foreground so i kind of sketched this water in. i wasn't happy with it at all so that has got to go it's just sort of way too messy really it doesn't fit in with the rest of this loose sketch the sort of i was i've got this sort of cross hatching going off on the on the uh, sort of sand area and then i was using the side of the pencil so it was a kind of a totally different type of sketching and i decided i needed to do it more with actual lines in this case just sort of horizontal lines uh, 
just being scribbled across. And to me, you see, that looks way better than uh, using the um, edge of the pencil and putting in that soft line, which I do a lot. But in this case, I felt the rest of the drawing wasn't drawn that way and it was just sticking out like a sore thumb. So it had to go. And I'm just sort of putting in these um, idea. I'm drawing the sand really and leaving the or waves are coming in or I don't know what you call it it's not really a wave is it when it gets to that point when you've got this really sort of just white foam coming in I've left that as white sketched in a couple of people just to add a bit of um, give you an idea of perspective and the size of everything put a nice shadow on them so straight away you're thinking nice sunny day then I create a new layer pop that below my sketch layer and I'm going to do the same as I did with the last uh, sketch I did in Teosui and just use a black or grey colour wash just to add a little bit of um, tonal contrast to this sketch and you can see I'm using the eraser to lift out some of the um, wash that have gone onto the buildings that just makes them pop little things like that really can make a flat drawing look really vibrant and then just sort of putting in a little bit of wash uh, covering the the line work i'm going to put some uh, a, a, a bit of a wash on the sand not too much keep it fairly light that was a bit heavy there every now and again tesui decides to help you with the uh color washing just putting in a big blob of of uh of color for some reason I've got a darker wash on those buildings again using the eraser just to lift out where the light's catching the uh, white paintwork of some of the buildings and then I use the eraser to get a bit experimental really to um, paint in some of the uh, foam I thought that worked quite well actually I was really pleased with that now looking at this now for me this could be a finished sketch I could have totally stopped there and that would have been fine uh, but I, I didn't did I no I I kept going still using the eraser lifting out uh, a little bit more of the that foam and then at this point I think let's have another let's create another layer and let's put some uh, darker tones on let's go in a little bit darker so as you can see I'm trying to get the uh, waves uh, coming in and actually I think it does work quite well um, I've got it a, a li little bit sort of square on the right hand side of the waves they should be uh, a little bit more uh, curved I feel and then I'm going and putting some dog tones over those uh, rocks in the foreground and then some dog now looking at that now oh, I'm glad I took that out because that was just way too dark And I'm thinking, I don't know if I like that. I think I've got I've gone too dark on those tones in the uh, to the left of the um, sketch. And, and what I said earlier about keeping tones lighter in the background, I've gone way too dark. I'm um, I've just brought that that forward so much. Draw a little bit of foam in there I was concentrating on the detail and not thinking about the bigger picture here so that sketch was definitely way better before I put this darker layer in I could go back into Teosui take an eraser knock the opacity of the razor down and just lift some of that pencil work off of the um, those distant buildings really because that's just way too dark. I can't believe I did that. I didn't see it. You know what? I put the video together. I put the drawing in. I looked at the drawing. And I didn't see it. But now I'm looking at it. It's absolutely. Um, it's screaming out at me. That that's just way, way too dark. So a lesson learned there. Yeah. Uh, Try not to overwork you, your drawings. I like what I did with the waves to sort of get them coming in. I'm just not happy with what I did with those um, distant buildings. But hey, 
don't forget this is my private sketchbook so it's not really meant to be shared with anybody but i do because you know why not uh so that is it that is my sketch with no um depth uh, whatsoever i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have a uh, big thumbs up as always is much appreciated if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing because i've got lots of videos like this and i would love to be sharing them with you so hopefully i'll see you all in the next one bye